person. The lawyer who helped Vange with her living will. How's it going? Uh, I haven't gotten too much. <laughs> it's a lot of stuff. Not that much. Every little thing I take out opens the floodgates. <laughs> oh, maybe you should put it away for a while. Yeah. That's what Ford said. He came by. What did he want? He left some stuff here. He took everything this time. Well, at least we're finally done with him. Believe it or not, he was actually really kind. Ford? Yeah, I couldn't believe it either. But I guess death can bring out a side of someone you never knew they had. If you're not comfortable with it... No, I didn't say that. I'm just presenting you with an option. I mean, it's your call whether you want to use it or not. Well, I can still make that call. Well, there's still a little time. Think about it, okay? I'm sorry, Thank I have you. to get back to the hospital. Thank you for coming over. Of course. You know, let me know what you decide. As soon as you do, I can start things moving. Okay. Okay. All right. As soon as you finish with those, then I'll give you the, the whole tour. I can't believe I'm saying this, but can I ask you for a favor? Shoot. Could you just pretend that we never met before I came into this office? You mean the other night uh, when I pulled you over for a DWE? Driving while emotional. <laughs> yes. Yes, that and the reason why. Well, you said that uh, you were worried about your oldest son. The one that wants to pretend that I don't exist. Well, that can change. I don't think so. And I don't want Nate to know that he has two brothers that don't want anything to do with him. Okay. Then your secret is safe with me. Thank you. You're welcome. You know, I don't know if you noticed, um, when you first came in, at the end of the hall, we have a, a wall of heroes. Yeah, the photographs of the fallen officers. Yeah, that's right. And now that you're hired, I think maybe you should know that uh, one of them is my son. Ruby Buchanan. <clears throat> I'm so sorry. Well, thank you. Uh, actually, Drew didn't grow up with me. And when you were telling me about the, you know, soccer practice and skin knees, and you know, I never went through uh, any of that with him. It must have been hard for you to miss that. Yeah. It wasn't just me. When he came back into my life, he was an adult. Wasn't interested in hearing any of the reasons that uh, things were the way they were. He just uh, resented me. And you didn't get a chance to make it up before? Well, no, see, that's the good part because some way, somehow, Drew and I were able to break through all of that. And then he did become my son again. And I became his father. That's wonderful. Yeah. We both knew how lucky we were. And actually, that helped me a lot when, uh, when I finally had to let him go. Anyway, um, like I just said, your secret is safe with me. But maybe someday you'll be as lucky as I was. You know, maybe uh, you'll get another chance with your son. What's your problem? All the people that you want me to stay away from. And that kid Nate. Some guy named Elijah Clark. Star. It's not gonna be much of a life here in Landview. So I'll introduce you around school. You have plenty of friends and even more chicks. Just not Star Manning. She's so much trouble. Hell yeah, she's trouble. And you've already had enough of that for one lifetime. Lucky I've got you to keep me out of it, bro. Yeah, I'm the only real one you've got. Don't you forget it. Look, I know I haven't always been there for Look, you, but I, I told know. you. I know, I know. You've got my back. Anybody messes with you, he messes with me. James is not interested in me. 
How can you be so sure? I can't. But so what if he is? It's no different than Hannah being interested in you. Yeah, you're right. Can we just stop talking about Hannah and James? Yeah, sounds like a plan. Hope should be asleep for another half an hour. You know, this is the first quiet time we've had since we found out that I'm not going to prison. We really didn't get a chance to celebrate with my dad's wedding and everything. And I don't have to check in with my probation officer for a little while. So what are you thinking? Maybe we can celebrate now. You read my mind. <laughs>